What is good, and welcome to Dub Nation, the official show of the Utah Warriors of Major League Rugby. I am Jerem Jordan alongside Banksy. It is signing season, and we've got some good ones. Super excited for this. The engine room of the Utah Warriors just got a big boost. We'll break it down, but first, uh, we're live on the Utah Warriors Facebook, Twitter, YouTube account. Subscribe to the audio podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud. If you've got a question or comment, throw it in. We'll get to it if, uh, if we see it. And we'll do our best to see it. Here's what's on the rundown. It's simple. Hunga Havili signs. Oh, Super Rugby. Let's go. Bring it, baby. Yuri Van Vuren re-signs. And we'll talk about the Crossroads Cup tryouts coming up. But first, the big news. The Utah Warriors sign a multi-year deal with second rower Onihunga Havili. 6'5", 253, Tongan International. He's got eight caps. He's played for the Perth Spirit, Western Force, Exeter Chiefs. So he's been in Super Rugby in the Premiership. The top two leagues in the world. Not to mention Japan and France. This is a big-time signing. What do you think, Banksy? You know, on the outside looking in, it's kind of a journeyman signing for a guy that's really looking for his break. But when you look at the pedigree of somebody like Onihunga Havili, really you can't argue that he was brought up to play elite-level rugby, starting at like the under-14 level the first time he went on tour, playing for the Tongan national team with the elite talent that that team is absolutely stacked full of, playing through the Blues under-18 academy, and uh, spending most of his time recently in France in Pro D2, where we know the quality of player that exists at that level. That's where we lost Aston for time to, and look at how you know impactful he was on a game. So this is almost getting a player back from the French that we lost, and to add it to that second row is unbelievable. This is a guy that's played most of his time actually in the loose forwards. He's a back row player, played a lot of time at blindside flanker, but this is a guy that can play really the six in the eight as well as the four in the five to back up the the added abilities of Yuri Van Vuren, Thomas Tuaval, and of course, you know, the the Chief and uh, and so many others that now we have in this engine room, not to mention Jonah Dietenberger, who we just got from San Diego. So at what was a weakness is absolutely stacked with depth now at the second row for the Warriors. And I love that because it felt like a good group. Last year, certainly locks and uh, the lack of depth of that position was tough once Jamie Lane went down. But you mentioned the names. Let's go over it again. Jamie Lane, Sai Uhila, Bailey Wilson. We'll get to Yuri Van Vuren's resigning in a moment. Lance Williams, the first team all MLR player from last year. Jonah Dietenberger, young guy that came over in the trade from uh, Mikey Teo uh, to San Diego. Thomas Tuaval. That's a really nice group that can play 16 quality games in 18 weeks. And you want to add Janowick, who we, we didn't put that we just got in the draft, another big physical dominant second rower. What this allows the Warriors coaching staff to do is play big or play small. You know, if you need that power in the second row, you've got guys now like Havili and Tree in the second row that can play big. You can also slide Yuri Van Buren in there. And then it allows you to play with that speed on the outside now too, because you're talking about Tommy Tuaval taking over at the six, Cap at the seven, and Lance spent a lot of time at eight this past season and looked fantastic. So the versatility and ability of Havili to cover, as well as the additions that we already have, make this a very moldable and formidable pack now with the additions that we already have to the front row here for the Warriors. You've talked about what on the pitch they bring. I also like the the youth mixed with experience. The the youth of Bailey Wilson and Thomas Tuabao, the sort of prime of their careers, uh, you know, starting with Bailey Wilson and Lance and your Saya near the end of his career, but a tremendous experience still it really brings it. it had to start at times last year. Jamie Lane, we didn't get to see him a ton. He got hurt. So this is an awesome experience addition that could start, that could come off the bench. You think about some of the youth that an MLR comes off the bench in the final 20, and they got to they gotta take on Hunga, Hunga Havili? Are you serious? <laughs> like, and Sayohila, maybe? Like, depending on roles and, and when you play. That's this is, nice. This That's is that dream nice. scenario now, because you when you put a tight five together, whether it's Gus or Paul, and two, and Franco coming back healthy. Um, and now you look at the second row and probably a pairing of uh, Havili and Jamie Lane to start the second row, big, physical, mobile forwards that know how to play with their hands and in space. And then you back that up with the mobi mobility and versatility of this loose forward group that we have. And it's going to be tough to match up to the Utah Warriors again in the forward pack. I love it. I love these additions. I feel like Utah's gotten better in the offseason, and we're not even done. 
with the signings and the re-signings. More coming up. But juicier first, and juicier. Let's get to know the newest Utah Warrior, Unga Habili. I always wanted to try the MLL, and uh, Utah was my first opportunity. So I was, as soon as I saw that, I, I got excited and um, and took it straight away. And, uh, also, it was a good place with a lot of my Polynesian family over there too. So yeah, pretty excited. As a young young age, I was excited to go New Zealand. But as I grow older, I wanted to explore more. So, yeah, America is pretty excited. It's one of the one um, one country that I'm excited to go to. Best food, definitely Tongan. Tongan food will beat everything. Ah, uh, Lusipi. Rugby memory when I um, first played for my country, my first uh, debut for Tonga. It was my favorite rugby memory. It's just like uh, me representing my family in a in a bigger stage, um, playing for my country where I was born and grew up. It was just I was it was like an emotional day for me, and um, yeah, it was just special. Yeah, when I found out about Coops coming, I was um, knowing that he's a All Blacks, um, ex, ex All Blacks. I always like the way they play, so I'm, I'm excited to see what he, he's going to bring to the team and I'm excited to be playing under his coaching. Just excited for his um, New Zealand type of, type of rugby. Like, because uh, I, I went to school in New Zealand and I, I, I fell in love with rugby in New Zealand. So to have a New Zealand coach, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to what he's going to bring. Just knowing the, the, the type of rugby they play, um, what they're playing for, the boys looking, uh, look like they're, they're, they're enjoying their rugby there. So, yeah, I'm still. Excited to go and uh, join in with them. Reminds me so much of like a young Saya Uhila, that that humility, but still that hunger and passion for the game. Uh, somebody better call Saya as well and get the Lucipi ready for him and the uh, and the Lohosi as well. Uh, I don't even get, know what that is, but it sounds good. <laughs> the kid, we'll get you some. We'll we'll teach you. We'll get you. Uh, educated right on the cultural delicacies of the kingdom of Tonga. So speaking of delicacies, let's talk about Halloween, right? You want to bring the family out? You want to interact with the junior warriors in a junior warriors clinic and the trunk or treat? It's all going down uh, at Zions Bank Stadium, October 20th from six to eight. There's going to be touch rugby games on the main field, a costume contest. There's a team pop-up store. There's going to be a live DJ junior warriors clinic for the kids. And of course, the trunk or treat. So it's time to get your spook on. Dress them up as a junior warrior. Come out, put the fantastic like mullet wig on them. I want to see how many kids dress up as Lance Williams for as Halloween. Lance Williams, the trunk I was or treat. Say. <laughs> <laughs> it's like beach, bleach blonde in a part of it. Yeah, it's what the people want. <laughs> okay, so massive signing with uh, Havili and then a massive re signing in Yuri Van Vuren. Yuri Van Vuren has been so good for the Utah Warriors the past couple of years. The South African second row returns, one of the most solid second rowers. In Major League Rugby, let's talk about what he's done. 38 caps with Utah. He's been here since 2020. 36 starts, 7 tries. Last year alone, nearly 500 meters gained, had 151 tackles, 83% tackle rate. Second in the league and first and second arrivals at the breakdown. Second in defensive arrivals. Sixth in breakdown turnovers won. This guy is a ball hawk uh, in every sense of the word. And trying to poach that ball defensively. A big hitter, 6'4", 220, 29 years old. He is returning to the Warriors. 
And you want to talk about a guy for all of his accomplishments and abilities on the pitch. It's his leadership in the locker room as well. A lot of guys look up to and latch on to Yuri as a positive energy guy. He's got this infectious charm about him that the guys just love to be around. He's the type of player you want in your locker room. So he's a leader in the sheds, a leader with his play on the field, a massive re-signing for Dub Nation. He's also got the straightest hair I've ever seen in my life. Like it's it's, he's got the perfect bed head. I don't know how he does it. Like people pay insane. thousands of dollars to right. get their hair cut like Yuri, and he rolls out of bed looking like that. He should create a conditioner because <laughs> that stuff is amazing. So is that a leave in or a rinse out kind of thing? I don't know. It's a good I don't, question. I don't have any baseline for reference. Okay, you don't I don't have know. To worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. That is a blessing. A few years ago, I shaved my head. Maybe you're familiar. Maybe you're not on BYU Sports Nation. I said if BYU won at Gonzaga. I would shave my head. Well, they would win the next three years. So that first year, Gonzaga's ranked third, BYU's unranked, but they win. I shaved my head on the show, and I did not notice how many other people had the same haircut that I did until I had one. It's like when you get a motorcycle, you like notice all the motorcycles or whatever, any car, right? You're like, oh, there's a, whatever, I have that too. Right. It's amazing. And I shaved, uh, or saved rather, about 10 minutes every day. <laughs> I'm not going to act like it's more time than that. Which <laughs> well, look, you, you've got this perfectly quaffed wave ready to go right, right here. Like, that's some pipeline Big Island surfing with that perfect part in your hair, Jerem. So. Call, call me Willie Way with the wave of Pepperdine. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad. But uh, I'm excited about, and I know you are too, these two signings because the, the team is getting better. And they're building and they drafted some quality athletes that, who knows, could play prominently into the squad. The hope is that they're – they can develop over the next couple of years and that this team is ready now to compete for an MLR title, which it feels like you, the Utah Warriors are going that direction. But you got you got to get the season tickets to see them. You got to be there with uh, Dub Nation, baby. To quote Brandon Sparks, we're never rebuilding. We're always reloading. So buckle up and let's go, Sparksy. Be there in the stands, Dub Nation. Get your 2023 season tickets. Call 801-477-7652. The family is standing by to get you booked and locked up. Get first access to where you sit for the best home field advantage in all of Major League Rugby. Dare I say, sports west of the Mississippi. Oh, I like it. Bold. And that, and I know. Clevin Lobster, that is bold. And Clevin Lobster was looking back at you to see if you were getting your season tickets. Let's go back to that image. He's looking back. Hey, me? you're going to sign up? Hey, you. Call the number? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Over Let's there. The call 801-477-7652. Get her done. Get her done. Okay, let's uh, wrap with this. Crossroads Cup. Tryouts are October 3rd. Show up from 6 to 8. Zionsbank Stadium. You can uh, learn more about cross on crossroadscup.com. Come get tickets. You can either participate as a player, yo, or... Come watch. Uh, this is going to be a cool event like we've talked about. And if you're not familiar with what the Crossroads Cup is, this is a new identifying competition for the Utah Warriors pathway for all local players here that's set up almost provincially like some of the um, competitions in New Zealand, Australia, and even throughout Europe where there's a Utah County team, there's a split set of Salt Lake teams, and then there's a North and Western Utah team that will cover Weber, Davis, Tooele County, and parts in between. So you'll play with the players where you're from in an attempt to garner the attention that you need to to get on the radar for this Utah Warriors Pathway program. Try out, get on a Crossroads Cup team. The next step from there is the select side. The next step from there is a major league contract with the Utah Warriors. And, you know, Utah has more domestic local players on contract than I think just about any other team in major league rugby. You can join the likes of Lance Williams, of Saya Uhila, of Joe Mano, of Tommy Tuaval, and so many others that started their rugby career here just like you are. So if you're playing club ball, if you're coming out of college and you want a place to play at the next level but don't know how to get that attention, Crossroads Cup is for you. Did I see that you played recently in the tournament? <laughs> I may have dusted off the boots a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what tournament was it? How'd it go? Please don't, please don't pull up a picture of that because I look like a stuffed sausage in a, in a set of rugby kit. <laughs> but uh, I will say it went good, not great. I got to catch up with the rugby family at Aspen Rugger Fest, uh, which is the third weekend in September every year, playing in the old boys games. And right. uh, I say play very loosely. I genuinely got hurt in the first game and then did – 
a whole bunch of walking around and missing tackles the rest of the time. So it was good just to have the boots on to get a run with so many great players like Mike Polyfowl, like Blake Burdett, like Mike Pembroke. Like there's so many incredible Utah players that are from here, as well as the players from around the country that I get to see there that have contracts in the MLR. Guys like Kurt Morath, who we used to have here in Utah, was up there playing. Zach Pangeline, and I got to see Ben Mitchell and so many other greats uh, from now, as well as the past of rugby, and got a little peek into the future as well with some high school games. So it's an amazing weekend in Aspen, Colorado, the third weekend in uh, September every single year. And uh, it's one of the few times your boy gets his boots on still. <laughs> That's awesome. Man. That's cool. And uh, Aspen, where the beer flows like wine, right? Um, and the women did... flock like the swallows of Capistrano, baby. You know it. <laughs> I saw Blake Burdett at the Killers concert as well. He's oh, did looking, you? He's looking good. He's lost some weight and he's got his smile back. So I'm proud of the kid. Absolutely love that guy. Uh, Blake, I got a bag for you waiting at home full of gifts and goodies, brother. He said, when are you getting me on the show? So, Blake, you got on the show. You got a nice mention. You got the honorable mention. We got Blake Burdett on the show with an asterisk. Like, like Mark McGuire hitting home runs. Yeah. It's got an asterisk next he's, to it. He's nice. <laughs> Aaron Judge, hopefully he's clean with all these uh, homers, you know? It's it's going well. Well, Fair that's real for us. Yeah, uh, we'll continue to bring you what's going on in the offseason. Uh, signings, re-signings, and so on. Uh, it's September, but in the next couple of months, we're going to have a lot of activity with the roster. We're trying to make the World Cup for the guys we've mentioned with the kit, the schedule, and so on. And then before you know it, it's going to be February. We're going to be going. So uh, it's going to go quick. We've got the Crossroads Cup coming up. Uh, there's still a lot going on. The offseason is not super long, which is actually great. Uh, we love we love it here on Dub Nation, and we'll be with you every other Wednesday throughout the offseason. Of course, follow the Warriors on social media uh, and uh, like and subscribe to Dub Nation. One more quick shout out. out to all of the, the collegiate teams that are out playing their fall season right now Let's and all go. of the club teams all over the country right now. There's so many guys putting in work, and I love to see our sport grow from coast to coast. And a lot of that's going on right now. So get out, support your local clubs, your local teams, your favorite players, and uh, get involved in some grassroots rugby. You're my favorite player, just so you know. So you know. Okay, for I'll our, sign a jersey for you. Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> Rahanga Havili, Mason Benson, Billy, the producer, and Banksy. I'm Jerem Jordan. We'll see you in two weeks. Go Warriors.